County cotton farmers are working hard to get cotton in the ground before Monday, the deadline for late planting. But some producers in our area are already looking at other commodities because the deadline has already passed in their county. KCBD News Channel 11's Patricia Perry tells us how the rain kept these farmers out of the fields for too long. Patricia? Karen and Abner, this map right here from Plains Cotton Growers shows these yellow counties up here, their planting deadline was May 31st. That means those farmers had until Wednesday to get cotton in the ground during late planting before losing 50% of their insurance coverage. That loss left many farmers like Ricky Yantis in Lamb County changing their routes. I was not able to plant it because it was wet and it's my choice to choose to go to a different crop for several reasons. Yantis was planning to plant more than 5,000 acres of cotton this year, but with hail damaging 400 acres of what was in the ground and heavy rain preventing planting in more than 500 acres, he's down nearly 1,000 acres of cotton. The ones I held off on were because of, of the availability of irrigation water or how big the lake on them was. In the acres that he couldn't get cotton in, he will now plant corn, milo, and black-eyed peas. Still, it's not his usual crop. So the insurance coverage is not as good. Yantis also serves as the Lamb County Farm Bureau president. He says he's not the only farmer having to make a switch. Several are deciding to choose other commodities because of what could happen while it's growing with less coverage. Your cotton doesn't yield well, doesn't grade well, and your insurance coverage is just not there, but your expenses have been there all year long. As for the cotton infrastructure around Lubbock, Yanta says he doesn't think it will suffer as much as last year because many farmers shown here in the green, blue, or brown counties still have time to plant before losing half of their coverage. Karen and Abner. Thank you, Patricia.